Aloha. My name is Kevin Kimball, and I am an Associate Professor of Accounting at BYU-Hawaii. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to create a fixed payment mortgage amortization schedule, or fixed payment loan amortization schedule. When you've completed working through this video, your finalized worksheet should look very similar to this. It should be titled Mortgage Payment Calculator and Amortization Schedule. It should note who prepared it, when it was prepared, and its purpose. You should also have a data section. Data sections are used for allowing the user to input variables that will impact the report that you desire. In this case, the data section asks the user to input variables such as the home price, the down payment percentage that they can uh, afford, which means how much cash can they apply towards the home purchase price, which would then leave a certain loan amount which would then have to be financed. So if you take the 750000 minus the down payment of 30% or 225000 the loan amount would be 525000 This would then be financed at 5.5% at a fixed rate over 30 years. If you do that monthly, that's 360 payments, and the payment would be $2,980.89. If I hit the F2 button, you can see that this is the formula, and I will teach you through this video how to create this formula uh, using range names, uh, so that's very easy to read and understand. Down below, the answer section is dependent on the information up above. For example, if I go up to formulas and I choose trace precedence, you'll see that this beginning balance comes from the loan amount above. If I then remove those arrows, we can go on and see that the first payment, I'll do trace precedence again, first payment, and since this is a fixed payment schedule, the, all payments will be the same, come from the computation up in the data section. Remove the arrows, and then I go over to balance, and I'll trace precedence again. You can see that the balance at the end of any, any given month is the balance from the prior month, minus or less the principal portion of the payment. So effectively what we're saying is if you make this $2,980 payment, a certain portion will go towards interest, the excess will go towards reducing uh, the principal, and therefore your remaining balance is 524. If I remove those arrows and hit end down, you'll see 360 payments later the balance of the loan is zero. You should also notice something very important is that in later payments very little of the payment goes towards interest and the bulk of the payment goes towards reducing the principal as you can see here. Towards the beginning hit the end up button. You should see that in the beginning most of your payment goes towards interest and very little relatively goes towards principal. So, uh, that's what we're trying to achieve. I'll hit the Control Home button. Uh, when you're done with this video, you should be able to create this from scratch within 30 minutes. Good luck.